Meanwhile, the FDIC putting together a new initiative to support minority depository and community development financial institutions. Let's bring in FDIC Chair Yelena McWilliams, who joins us uh, now in a Closing Bell exclusive. Uh, very good afternoon to you. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. So, so talk us through exactly what this is. It's, it involves tourists, it, it involves Microsoft and, of course, uh, you, you guys at the FDIC. Of course. No, it's, it's a new fund we have set up. And frankly, I got this idea of helping minority banks uh, early on in my tenure at the FDIC in 2018. When I was talking to the CEOs of different minority banks and they told me they needed capital, they could use capital for investment in their communities. And these mission-driven banks primarily serve low- and moderate-income communities, rural communities, inner cities. Uh, a lot of them are on Indian reservations, etc. So it's something that we have been focusing on quite heavily as to how can we help these institutions help their communities. And uh, I was uh, en route uh, someplace over the United States of America in late 2018 when I watched an episode of Shark Tank on direct TV on the plane. And by the time I landed, I basically called up my lawyers and my chief of staff and I said, why can't we create a shark tank for mission driven banks? And so it took a while to implement the idea, but we're pleased to announce the opening of this fund to launch. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to talk about it. And we have Microsoft and Truist as the anchor investors. We have Discovery as a founding investors, investor, and collectively these companies have pledged $120 million to the fund. We're looking for others to join, and the fund will be able to leverage about 1 to 10 the investment dollars that come in to help these communities and the minority banks. I, I love that backstory, particularly uh, if you're watching Shark Tank on CNBC uh, and, and doing full circle now to talk about it, uh, Yelena. But, but uh, talk us through exactly how it works. So, so you mentioned the anchor investors, Microsoft uh, and Truist. Is that a gift from them to this fund or, or is it a loan? How, how, does, how does it exactly work? So we like to call it patient capital. And well, by the way, I'm sure it was a it was a rerun on CNBC that I watched uh, and Excellent. not the original Shark Tank. So what they're going to do is basically put the money. It's a capital investment. They're going to create a fund. The FDIC will not have any say in how this fund is run. We're going to have an advisory role. But basically what we did was put the brand and the weight of the FDIC, this venerable government agency behind this fund, so that people know, A, it's a legitimate fund, B, we mean to do well by it and see it's, it's a private investment that's being channeled. So they're going to fund initially uh, up to $120 million, different banks. We have about 280 institutions that are minority depository institutions and community development financial institutions that are insured by the FDIC that will be eligible to come and, and make their pitches to the fund. So basically they will come, show a business plan, say we need X amount of money to uh, basically as a loan, as, as a fund investment, to be able to invest in our uh, in communities. And we call this patient capital because the investors are really not focused on the returns. Uh, they're not looking at S&P and comparing how this fund is doing vis-a-vis S&P, et cetera. They're really looking at the impact of the fund and the capital that's in the fund on the communities that, they are, that we all are hoping to help and, 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 uh, and able to have financial inclusion. So it's, it's envisioned not as a gift as much as, as a reoccurring you know, movement of money in the fund where something will be put back in the fund from these investments and then additional institutions will come and be able to, uh, to, to get some support from the fund vis-a-vis -vis investments. What, how, how are you going to define success? Do you, do you have targets that you want to meet on numbers? So we're going to define success by the ability of the fund to actually deliver on the promise that these banks are going to come and they make their pitches on helping communities in need. So we're going to look at the number of mortgages that they have been able to originate in low and moderate income communities, small business aid that they may be able to uh, get from the fund and procure to small businesses in their communities, et cetera. There are going to be different benchmarks that the fund manager and the anchor investors are going to be able to set for the fund. And again, it's all about the patient investment, the patient return of capital, the, the so then the dollar amount and the interest that comes back to the fund itself.